Hello, today I want to show you something that is almost unbelievable. Uh, with an analog modular synthesizer, basically there's no presets, there's no way of setting anything that you've set up on there. So I've got a little device here that I'm going to test out on the uh, analog synthesizer, which should hopefully save memories and patches and things. So what we've got here is a it looks like a jack and one of the trigger oh so the jack is connected to the trigger connector right so there you go there's a jack and what is it version apr01 and there's a sort of a trigger on the other end nothing else that's it uh okay let's have a look in the destructions of the letter that i've got Dear Marcus Fuller, we have been working on a way to save and load settings on the analog Moog modular range of instruments. We would be happy to hear any suggestions or questions on our new plug and play MM16 version APR01, which is the analog program recall version 1. As most people do not know, potentiometers can actually be moved without electric motors. That's news to me. And this is achieved by pulsing an electromagnetic signal to the potentiometer within a specific frequency, causing the centre contact to be drawn from one end of its scale to the other using electromagnetic eddy currents. Hmm, well that's almost believable. Speakers should be turned down during analogue programme recall, but no sound will be heard when saving an analogue... Oh, we can save as well. Oh wow, that's going to be handy. What is inside this thing? Just sorry, I'm just going off the subject a minute. But if you can save to this, there's probably a, a pick chip or something that's inside here. I think you just do this to undo it. Let's have a look. Yes, brilliant. Oh, Moog, you made that too easy. Ah, well, not a lot. There's sort of a tiny little circuit board there. Uh, oh, there's a crystal on the back of it. And, uh, yeah, they look like some trimmer capacitors and, there's, well, there's actually tons of components on there. That is so tiny. Right, I don't want to destroy anything. How did, it, how did it come out? Right, I'll just pop that back together for the moment. Okay, does that go in there? Yeah, there you go. You'd never know I'd been in it. So, anyway, right, carry on then. Uh... So, instructions for loading, plug this into the control input sequential, sequential controller, the other plug must be connected to the controller output, trigger 1, 2 or 3. This provides a voltage pulse for the MM16 APR slash A1. Ah, so it's actually getting its voltage through the uh, trigger and doing something with that end, I guess. Press any of the eight red buttons along the bottom of the sequential controller to load a setting and the lights will flash from left to right as the program loads. Uh, pressing the ninth button will clear the previous setting, blah, 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 but that's only eight. Oh, right, pressing the shift button allows another eight settings, i.e. one to eight or nine to 16. Saving instructions, plus the MM16 into any of the two outputs of the Moog 962 module. I hope I've got that on mine. Uh, and then, one, two, eight, blah, blah, blah. This unit is totally analog and has no microchips inside. This is to keep the modular system purely analog in its nature. If anyone can do that, Moog can do that. Please contact us with any questions, blah, 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 about the APAR01. So many thanks for Moog Music. Please do not disassemble this item. Well, it's a bit silly putting that at the end of the letter. They should have put that at the beginning, then I wouldn't have opened it up. Anyway, I'm sure they're not going to be too upset with it. So basically, I guess what's happening here, okay, is this is the synth I have, this one here. Now, you could download a Moog synthesizer for an iPad. And this is the uh, System 15. And one great advantage that you can do with this is if you look at the actual uh, cables and connectors here, if you jump forward, all the cables move. But so do the uh, potentiometers. All the potentiometers jump into different spaces. If we can get that up to the camera so you can see. There's the fixed control voltage uh, pot there. 
and it's kind of moving yeah so it's moving around to where you previously saved something so i guess what they're doing here they're probably feeling a little bit left out that you can only have one setting on this so they're giving you the option of having another 16 settings on so let's go and try this out in the big machine and uh see how it works plug the apr01 into the control input of the sequential controller this is a sequential controller and the control input is there so i'm going to plug this into there okay and it says plug the other end of the connector to control output trigger one two or three this provides a voltage pulse for the apro one so controller outputs one two or three oh just plug it into number one so that should give a pulse of electricity for this to work to load its setting okay now then uh press any of the red buttons along the bottom of the sequential controller that's these to load a setting uh, pressing the shift button which is there will allow another eight settings i.e. 1 to 8 or 9 to 16 the lights will flash from left to right as the program loads pressing the ninth button will clear the previous settings so that's the ninth button for clearing it so let's go let's press this one little bit noisy that but then all the switches were flicking about let's see what happens not bad I can't see me wanting to use that sound but still I guess I can manipulate that a little bit, make a nicer sound, and then resave it back onto this again. All right, let's try a second one. So we'll go for number two. Let it load. There you go, loaded. Right. Well, all that clicking you just heard was the switches going into position and some of the potentiometers moving. So I'm just going to zoom in with the camera and I'm going to reload number one again and show you what it's doing there. shaking the room that very nice I'm not going to try and save any settings on this yet uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of a play around with it I just wanted to make a, a quick short video to show you what this uh, little device does which is uh, quite good actually Moog I think you've done well there that's a nice device and uh, I don't know how much it's gonna cost and I don't know when they're gonna become available but uh, there you go hope you enjoyed that video all the best bye bye With the analog lapis beauty dish, you be here. Let's go again. So plus the uh, start again. Buttons. Oh, I think I best switch it on first. Should we switch it on? Right now it's press number one. Um, plug the APR1 into the control unit of the sequential. Start again. I'm going to start all this over again. Right, here we go. So plug the. Uh, plug the. So I'm not going to try and save any settings. Uh, I just wanted to sort of give, give it to. Start again.